So the weather in the UK cannot make its mind up. One minute it's sunny, then it's raining, then it's cloudy, then it's raining and it's sunny, then it's cloudy and then it's sunny, and then it's windy and then it's a bit of everything. So I thought we might as well get a crawler on the channel because it doesn't matter what the weather's like, you can still run these. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the channel. We have got the FTX Mauler, a one-tenth scale trail truck crawler, bouncer, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know what it is. It's kind of like a crawler, but it's got like a bit of a, a rock bouncer look about it. Anyway, on this video, we're going to get it out of the box. We're going to have a closer look at it, then we're going to take it out and give it a run over the quarry. This fits nicely into the sort of lower end, the budget crawler range, but it's a capable truck from what I've seen. So 45 amp ESC, I believe it's a 540 motor, oil shocks, 2.2 tires with foams, locked diffs, metal uh, suspension links, and like a metal framed chassis. And the body is a nice kind of, like I say, bouncer, rock racer kind of style with the molded cage and stuff in there. Anyway. Let's have a look at it. I'll tell you something, you're not going to lose this one in the dark. <laughs> look at it. That is such an all. I don't know if you can see how bright it is on the uh, camera, but what an awesome colour that is. Wow. So in the box, you get a set of instructions. Uh, the battery should be in there. That's your transmitter. You've got um, steering and throttle dual rate, then you've got steering and throttle trim and reverse switches. Not bad, or oh, I'm not going to be able to do my one-handed driving without putting an adapter on that, but uh, again, like I say with a lot of these, it's nothing special, but it's functional and it feels fine in the hand. 2000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery with a Dean's connector. Charger, this is quite cool actually, it's got pins front, it's got pins front and rear, but it hin hinges at the front like that, so you're not going to have to put the body down on the floor. Like I mentioned, really nice color this it also comes in i'm sure it comes with the colors reversed as well so the main body being orange with like yellow on it as well looks really nice big 2.2 tires they feel nice and soft as well foams in there nice molded front bumper with leds in there there's your metal steering links a couple of drivers in there rear cage i don't know that's probably for an aerial maybe i don't know Locked diffs in there, oil shocks. Oh, that's a nice bit of flex as well there. So it's got quite a low stance to it, but it's got a really nice amount of flex. That's really good. Lovely. So 45 amp, two in one ESC and receiver there. You can run nickel metal hydride or lipo. Gearbox there, but open spur. 540 brushed motor, there's your battery tray. Oil shocks that feel really nice. And there's your metal chassis. It looks a tough old truck, this one. This, this does look really nice. Straight out of the box, uh, two-in-one ESC receiver, not ideal. And I think the servo is, yeah, so, axle mounted and it's only nine kilograms. So probably could do with a servo upgrade and easy enough to swap your electronics over if you need to. But remember the price point this is at, it's gonna be probably really good um, for the money. I say probably, I have seen these running on a few videos and they do seem to go awesome. And look at that flex, that is so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna get a battery charge. I'm probably gonna run it on a 2S LiPo. Not a big fan of nickel metal hydrides. They didn't really last very long and they drop off um, power quite quickly. The voltage drops on these quite quickly, whereas a LiPo, you get much better performance. However, having this supplied with it means you can just buy it, stick some double A's in your transmitter and it is ready to go once you've charged it. But you always get more runtime with a LiPo and you'll get slightly better performance. Right, let's charge your battery. Let's take it out, let's give it a blast. So here we are with a mauler and we've been given some sunshine today, albeit a little bit windy, but at least the sun's out to get this thing going. So straight away, what's the, uh, what's the crawling? Well, that's not too bad for a two-in-one ESC. Not bad modulation. How fast is this thing? Oh, it's not too bad, I suppose, for a crawler. 
it's not the fastest thing in the world, is it? But then big old tyres on it. I reckon it's not going to be a bad crawler. So like I mentioned, ready to run straight out of the box. I have got this on a 2S LiPo. I recommend to anyone, if you've not moved over to LiPos yet, definitely look into it. The performance increase is massive uh, when you switch to them. Better run times, they, uh, the voltage stays up longer so you get more performance. A little bit of rubbing on the body. Still, look at that, that's awesome. Nice flex. Trying to get over a few different types of terrain today just to give you a good look at it. Bit of mud. Probably not going to get it too wet and dirty just yet. Plenty of torque from that. It's only a 540 motor. I think it's a 20 turn. But geared well enough to give this thing a little bit of power there just for pulling itself over the rocks. That looks cool. Some nice flex. Not a massive amount of traction though, this is wet, soft, like clayey mud, so I wouldn't expect even some of the best tyres out there to dig in too much. Maybe some, uh, maybe some mud slingers, but a bit more wheel speed needed. Still though, it's not too bad. Can we get out from here? No. Centre of gravity, okay for this. Remember, straight out of the box we're talking here. No tuning of the suspension. Oh, come on. Slow and steady. Not the best steering angle there, guys, for this, but I think I mentioned in the uh, initial bit about the servo, nine kilograms. You really want something at least double that for this, but tunability that's part of the fun of the hobby is being able to upgrade and tune your rc cars and trucks nice initial thought straight out of the box i am impressed with it for the price the price point you're getting with this it looks good as well nice and bright you're not going to miss this one you're not going to lose it are you definitely not going to lose it bit of rock crawling quite low um, clearance wise I mean there's plenty of uh, suspension adjustments you can do plenty of points to adjust the suspension so I wouldn't be too concerned about that straight out of the box get the right line though and I think you'll be all right unlike me <laughs> what am I doing what am I doing guys making a meal out of it that's what I'm doing Although my excuse when I come down here is always these rocks are all loose and stuff. So loose rocks and sharp edges always uh, going to cause you issues. There we go. I knew we'd be able to do it. It was just a case of when <laughs> and how long it would take. There we go, right to the top. Oh, I didn't want it to roll there, look, look above. Woo! That is not what you want falling on you. Can we save it? Can I save it? Yes! Let's get away from the danger. Let's go find a little bit of mud with it. We won't go too crazy. It's meant to be waterproof. I've not had any real issues with a lot of these that say waterproof now and again i do hear people saying that they've got theirs wet and it's died but i've not really had a problem i'm not going to go too far in there though because i don't want to get stuck myself oh not too muddy he says <laughs> well, that's a good picture though isn't it right so we got in there, let's try and get out slowly. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I think that's kind of the mud test, isn't it? Let's uh, bring it out of there. We don't want to get it too muddy today. 
What a cool little rig. Anyway, guys, cheers for watching. Let me know what you think of this mauler. Oh, hang on. Before we go. Hey guys, last little mud bit before we go. Cheers for watching. Let me know what you think about this mauler. Do you like it? Think it's worth the money? I do. Looks cool. Cheers for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Come on, boy. Come on, you got it. Come on, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. You're off.